Ladies and gentlemen, may the raindrops in the background make a sad tone for your faces, because today is the day. It is right. Look who has arrived. And if we switch over to here, that means these guys have arrived because that bad boy's going away. More Reddit, watch for dramatic effect. Ladies and gentlemen, that tree has been with me for, um, what, I've lived in the house for five years, but I bought the property when I was nine. Did I buy the property when I was 19? And start getting on it? I don't know. Basically, the tree has got to go. You might be like, no, Tom, Mother Nature. Well, I'll give you some stats. I planted maybe 50 to 70 trees on this property with conifers and stuff like that and uh, maybe removed a total of like three or four total so in the balance of Thanos we've done a good job but in the balance of is that tree going to stand up and not fall on the house the answer is no it is dead it is a danger it has to come down shower complete and to move on to something that someone in the comments the other day was like Tom I am so baffled by your front window, can you explain it? And the answer is yes, and this is going to tie into something that like helped design my house from the time I was a little kid. I always used to be obsessed with watching a show called Grand Designs. That's where people would buy like houses, you know, like projects from nothing and build up from it to something incredible, whether it was an eco house, a tech house, you know, like a, a non-electrical house or something like that. And I always saw little things here and there that I just absolutely loved. Examples. I saw a glass floor in one person's house and I was like, I absolutely love that idea. When you see these like balustrades that go all the way up like this, well, banisters, balustrades are outside, are going all the way up like this, it looks absolutely incredible. I love it, that kind of thing I was going for. Freestanding baths and bath taps and stuff like that, looking gorgeous, reflective mirrors, showers, all things that I saw over these years of being a kid, being like, I love that, that's like, that's what I want in my dream home. And something I saw on one of these programs is this entire house Right? Say like all these walls right here were all made out of glass in this house and this house was quite like a tight size fitting house. And the way they got around it feeling tight size was they made all the windows out of glass. Now you might be like, whoa, privacy, WTF mate, that makes no sense. But the way they got around privacy is every single room had a separate switch to isolate it with, uh, you know, like an opaque window. And the way it works is in between these panes of glass, is gases, okay? Now, this, the true science of it, I couldn't fully tell you, but this is, what I, this is what I say. When there's an electric current going through the glass, all the particles within inside this like glass plane like just go into the outsides of the windows, okay? And they just kind of like vanish, like whether it is like uh, whatever technical material is inside it, just goes and vanishes. And when you flick it again, it lets them release, and when they release, they spread out to this opaqueness, because look, you cannot see that tree out this window right now, can you? But are you ready? When I switch the switch, one sec, if it focuses, ta-da! How awesome is that? So, as you can see, when you flick it back on, you can still see the outline of the gentleman there, but as the gas starts to spread out and settle more, it becomes more available. And I know this was a big explanation, but a lot of people ask me about it. So, that's how it is. When an electrical current goes through it, it becomes opaque, uh, well, it becomes see-through. And oh my lordy, they have not messed around my baby. They're going for it. They're absolutely going for it. They're going for it. She's down, she's dead, and she is being removed. We've got a, a cherry picker there, which is lifting them up to get to the higher branches and stuff. And the number one priority out of everything is that, like, obviously this doesn't fall on my house. You see this, this big, like, what's it called here? This branch, uh, but, them two lines, one of them's my phone line and one of them's my super fast internet line. So if one of them comes down, I'm screwed. So I should pretty much take this opportunity to go and send Ryan my footage from a vlog right now um, before I lose all the internet. So yeah, let's do that. And also fun little fact, you see this tree, I'm gonna get it cut down to about there. And then I'm hopefully with that much space left on it, I'm gonna get uh, Griffin, if you guys remember when I was out in uh, uh, America, when I was like hanging out with Luke, we saw Griffin who does tree carving. I'm gonna get her to come over um, and carve uh, a lion into it. And then we'll chop it at the bottom uh, and then I'll be able to move it around the house. I probably could just chop it at the bottom anyway, but just gonna cut it really high, give her a put, like pure base to work with, and then she can decide whether she needs to chop it. And then uh, I'll have like a little uh, cool, amazing like, lion statue made out of a tree as a memory to the tree. So yeah, that was kind of cool.
Riti, that is the vlog footage to Orion sending over within five minutes. Hopefully, uh, my entire internet just didn't just go zoom, and that's because a branch fell on my internet line. So, uh, fingers crossed. Mate, I do, mate. Look at this. The poor thing's finally coming down. Nice one, John. I know the number one benefit this is going to have for the people here is this house because this house from their balcony up there would be able to see now all the way down like into Greater Manchester with such a better view without that tree in the way. So you're welcome neighbours, don't worry, even though no one lives there, you're welcome. Is it a British job if I don't offer them a brew? Hey, tea, <laughs> I said, uh, tea or water? I purposely didn't say coffee because I haven't got any. I ain't got any coffee left. I don't drink coffee, just Alice and my mum and everyone does. I was like, tea or water? And one said tea, one said coffee. I was like, I'm gonna have to go out to the shop now. Get a trip to me to a cup of tea dinner. All right, two teas it is, on the way. Hey, you can't kid a kidder. I wasn't kidding a kidder. Well, I'm you've got a kid, you would try to tell you you walked up and you've got that it. What the heck? I didn't think I was in. I was going to say, I can hear my granddad's voice somehow. Oh my god, there's so much light coming into my house. This is crazy. Oh yeah, granddad, look up. Yeah. Look up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a nice little present surprise. Present? Ple pleasant surprise. Well, I was packing up now to do, to do, uh, to do Glastonbury. We're doing Glastonbury again to Sam for literally a day and a half. Most people like amp up their entire year to go to it. Whereas me and Joe are like, uh, we've only got like a day free in our entire schedule. So let's, let's go on an adventure. Let's go to Glastonbury for a day and we're set. And I was like, I've only got a suitcase. Like, I was like, Joe, is that, is that right? I, should, I feel like I should be taking a duffel bag. He's like, yeah, I'm taking a duffel bag as well. Which made me remember Jim Goa Tom lad. Oh boys, did you not even know? Did you not even know? Mate, did you not even know? Rockstar sh no, no, no. no idea what happened there. Shout out to Rockstar for this t-shirt. Look at this. It's a it's a Rockstar look because it's GTA 5. Um, but look at that. Man's got a duffel bag. Let's go, boys. I'm ready. Bag's packed. Mum's coming picking me up. You know what we're doing? We're going to the train station. Let's go and let's not miss it. Wee. As far as I'm aware, I've got absolutely everything I need to go. I just need one cable. I need one cable. Uh, oh. That's... That's actually exactly what I needed. Alright, sweet rough bye! Mate, the amount of sun look at it. Whoa. The amount Jesus crimps! Hey! I've gotta go mate! Flip in heck! That I, I defo can't hear you! That is crazy! What a difference taking that tree down has made! Mom, I've lost a tree! Just giving it away. I am done. Whoa. Mate, I cannot believe how open that looks now. See you later, boys. Mental. Absolutely mental. Give me a kiss. You're the best. Alice, you are a knob. Tell her. Oh, yeah, I'm going to miss my train. <laughs> that you got that t shirt? Uh, yeah, it's in my bag. Right, uh, do you have right, to come dress for Glast Glaston? You're gonna ruin your train, I suppose. Watch out, yeah. you wanna know something better? Yeah. I brought a white hoodie. You're in it. I didn't bring a waterproof coat. It's not gonna rain. Oh, is it? It's gonna be gloriously hot. Oh, it's gonna be gloriously hot. I'm saying this right now. I don't like duffel bags. I just, I just feel really unbalanced right now. I don't like it. But right, we are waiting for the train. Sweet. Managed to get to the train station in time, get my ticket printed. The train's on its way, and I got myself a coffee. Take me home, virgin trains, to my boy, Joseph Suck. I'm at the other end, whoopsie daisy. The hustle never stops, and we are arriving in London. Okay, don't you want to to get to Joe Suggleth's house, but we're going to get in the whip. We're going to go on a bit of adventure before we go off to Glastonbury. I'm not too sure how long the adventure is going to last because you do need to get to Glastonbury, but nonetheless, I've arrived in London. All I just did there was film back at the hotel. Sorry. And here we go. I finally made it to Joseph's house. They're in the moose. But I've just found out where we're next going is going to take three hours. Three hours to get there. So what did I bring? Beers. I thought you were supposed to be this dead fit dancer now, but you're eating what? 
Uncle Ben's rice, vegetable rice, mixed with a curry puck noodle. Uh. Bulking season. Uh, I don't know if that class is bulking season. No. So this journey to any normal person would probably take maybe, what Joe, an hour? Hour and a half? No, two hours. Hour and a half, it's I'm gonna two go. Two hours. Hour and a half. But Joseph here and his whip, um, because we can't take it on motorways, you haven't seen the whip yet. If you know Joe, you know of his whip. But if you haven't seen the whip I... from my side of things, Joe has got, what is it? Not to 60 in zero point. <laughs> oh, quite a long time. Zero point one hours. <laughs> quite a long time. He's got a Volkswagen camper van. And we're gonna be driving that to where? We're going to Wiltshire tonight. The hood, Wiltshire. Joe's hood. Where I grew up. We're gonna go to Joe's hood tomorrow. tonight. Up to Glastonbury. Where are we staying tonight then? My dad's. Are we staying at your we dad's house? Dad's. No way! You're gonna see my dad's face for the first time. I don't know what he looks like. No, no, You've never shown me a photo. He's not on camera, he hasn't gone on camera. Yeah, I won't be able to show you guys. That's, that's, that'd be fun for a ride. <laughs> yeah, oh, I could just say to Ryan, rather than ducking, I'd just be like, your face is secure, don't worry, I'll blur it. But no, I'll pri I'll, I'll, I respect the privacy sort of thing. But yeah, we're gonna go to Joe's hometown. He's, see he's been to my hometown and met my boy skis. Uh, well, a few of them, oh, where I'm from. Um, <gasps> Guess yeah, what it's gonna take. Oh no. Three hours, 45 minutes. Oh my god, it is. Three hours, 46. Oh! <laughs> Wait, why am I celebrating that? That's so, that's a and I've just choice. realized that he doesn't have phone chargers in his car. Do you have a cigarette that charger thing? Uh, I think I might do, yeah. Okay, then we should be okay. Right. Wait, let me just check how much beer I've got for a three hour, 40 minute journey. I should be okay. As long as in here, you haven't got the non-alcoholic, you still have it. Yeah. Joe. I can drink it's non-alcoholic beer. I can drink and drive. Oh. Never drink and drive, but he can drink this and drive because it's. I went to get a beer. He was like, "Yeah, get a beer out the fridge," and I went to the fridge and he had zero percent alcohol-free beer. I, I was like, that. "What?" The f okay, uh, well I've got a four pack of Peroni. He's got like snacks and food. I've got a four pack of Peroni. I've had one and a half already, and I've got two left. I'm not an alcoholic, but I'm gonna try and sleep this journey. Sorry, Joe, but I woke up at like. 7.45 this morning when Lydia went to school. I'm exhausted. Mate, it's gonna be a long drive. I can drive from my house to your house in, less in, time. in, in like three and a half hours. Or well, three hours, 45 minutes probably actually. Yeah, but this is experience. This is an experience. You've never been in a camp van. Wait, so is it, wait, what was the show you did? What was it called? Hitting the road? Hit the road. This is hit, this is the hit the road. Did you do it in the same vehicle? This is Joe and Tom, no, it's same, same kind of vehicle. Joe and Tom hit the road. Wiltshire, you don't even know what you've got tradition. coming. You don't even know what you've got coming to you. He's gonna turn up sober as a goat meat and his dad's like, hi dad, good to see you. I'm gonna roll out Back 19 up. days deep. Back Mr. Sog! <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, I was gonna bring a suitcase, change my mind, and I went, you know what? I'll take a duffel bag, because Joe said he's taking a duffel bag. How much are you packing? Yours is a duffel bag, mine's a duffel bag. That is a, d don't, don't, don't I'm judge mine. More days than you. Oh, you are actually, yeah, I only pack for two. Then you're going to actually, America. I pack for a day and a half. You're going to another country as well. Yeah, but not with that. Yeah, I got. We'll work it out. Wait, is this actually filled? How many outfits have you brought? I brought a lot. I don't know what. I don't what, know what the fuck? Yeah. Oh wow, that's a real weapon, that Joe. <laughs> I've got to be the. <laughs> yeah. Is that? Wait, if I touch it, will it electrocute me? I need to watch this. Oh, I missed it. I'm just waiting for that sound. Oh. And wait, they're here. They're here. They're here. They're here. There. Obviously, animal cruelty and that kind of thing, blah, 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 but it's, it, these are pests. But look. Yeah, this is pests. Whoa, no. that's it. Sits on fire. That's smelling that's it. That's probably not necessary to say, I'm sure. Smell that. Oh! Did you get another one? You look, yeah, like, you look like a wild Australian. Wait, he was seeing in the outback. This rapper's when you got a girlfriend in Australia. It's like, <laughs> get, get up. <laughs> You've been this here, we wait to see the ones in Australia. <laughs> What essentials have you brought with you? Pure festival vibes. Well, yeah. that, that, I don't need anything else but that. And then a uh, one for the road. My dad would be proud. This bad boy. Ladies and gentlemen, let, let me introduce you to Joseph's whip. That's mega. Guys, this is the whip. How awesome is that? Mate, that looks so good. Mate, trust me. Like, this has to be like one of the most pristine versions of this vehicle out here, right? Yeah, restored. How old is the car? How old is the vehicle? Yes. Uh, 
45. Too much? Uh, oh, 1945? No, 45 years old, I was going to say. It's oh, like 70s? Um, no, it's more, it's older than that. Really? Older than that. Well, oh, let's not get a flat tire on the way or something like that. Has she broke down on you yet? No, he, not yet. Sorry, no, he, not he. yet, but don't say that. Yeah, yeah, and, he's, and it's called Chipper. Chippy. Chippy, it's called Chippy after his granddad. Yo, Joe, check the rims on that bad boy. They're chrome as they get. Damn, so this is our whip for the next few days. And, uh, you know, fire extinguisher in case, um, I don't know if this thing's capable of blowing up, but we'll see. Oh, let's not see. Wait, can I sit in the back of the entire way? I can put me, I can put my iPad out and play RuneScape on the table. <laughs> do, do you know what? It's actually got that that granddad smell. It's got that old smell. It does it. In a, smell. A, a musky. It's got an actual musky smell. <laughs> it smells like old feet. <laughs> does it drive well? Uh, it's hard to drive. Really? Like, it's well, tricky. I drive a tractor. It takes a bit of getting used to. Like it's like driving. Like, look at that gear stick. Trying to find reverse with yeah, that gear stick. Yeah, how do you stick. know? Yeah, I was gonna say. It's the hardest thing. <laughs> It's, a, it's like a, so it's like, like a, a pin. It's like putting a putting a stick into a bag of peas and trying to find the the gear. Oh, so are we going to hear a lot of crunching? Oh, it will take about four fourteen thousand attempts to start this thing up. Oh, really? Yeah. All right, we'll maybe get in the train, boys. You got there? Yeah. Have you opened it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, my pants are going to punch. Wait, is that always oh, a reflection of the video? This is. Do you know what? There's no better way to go to Glastonbury. Than oh, dude, this, this is. 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 Oh, Tom coming in clutch. Oh. I put in my Endrex little pocket 12 wet white pack. You might, you might lose your phone here. Maybe a bump. Oh, no, you're fine. Um, He's just opened his Lucas and spilled it everywhere. Oh. No, I'm so sticky. Right, right. Wipe right. <laughs> your hands with that. Look, look. Oh, sh. Yeah. My mum, my mum. Hey, tits my, up, Tom. My, and we're not even at. Oh, fing hell. My mum would be so proud of me right now. Right. Oh, that smells gorgeous. I know, right? Right. Mum, you'd be so proud. I got my little wet white pack with me. <laughs> right, we, we're down to 10. <laughs> Let's keep the count. What the fuck? Hat. Right. Wipe your chair. Like your, oh, oh, that wow, is so sticky. Yeah, oh, the no. ruined, I reckon. No, you can wipe that off. Mum, you'd be proud of me, I tried. Go to a festival, it's time to happen. Yeah, yeah. Oh, get that oh. Sticky situation averted. My mum, again, will be proud. The wet wipe, yeah. Andrex, uh, not sponsored by Andrex, wet wipes came in absolute clutch, loving life. And uh, we're stuck in London traffic, typical. Nasty. Joe, can we- That'd be my other car. That would be my other car. It's a I'd love an Austin Martin. Look at it. Okay, this one loaded. Uh, give us a rev. <laughs> he probably cannot hear us with that engine going. No, oh, he's a left side driver. It's an import. Oh yeah. Ooh, fruity. What is, what is Yo, that? what is that? Give me a tour. What is it? Oh, this, we're here, Glastonbury. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I'm pretty sure we've still got two hours and forty-eight minutes to go. Sorry to <laughs> chips. What actually is that? Oh, is that Ascot? Is that Ascot? That's Ascot? No, it's not. That's Ascot. No way! Yeah. Oh! Wait, I've been to Ascot. Yeah. I think. Jim, wow, Jim, Jim. mate. That's, uh, that's Christ Church. It's actually called Christ Church, just saying. Uh, right, okay. Yep, yeah, we're going to take it a left. I, I, thought I'm, I hope I'm being a pretty good wingman here. <laughs> you are. All uh, right, yeah. I get quite panicky driving sometimes. I could tell. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. It's London, mate. I'd be panicking. Yeah, exactly, right. yeah right. And you're on this right now for half a mile. Sweet. Mate, we're in Tudorville. Oh, it's got, they've got the scout badges above the, the houses as well. Whoa. I don't actually know that's got a scout badge, it's a badge. But, we're up, uh, yeah, I hear sirens, and it's behind us. Uh, no, no, he, he did budget. He went, thank you. Oh, yeah, nice one. Me. Yeah, quick, smoke them off while she can. <laughs> get back, you <laughs> you'll make your legs. <laughs> Mate, we are on the outskirts of London looking at the mega houses right now, Joseph. Yes, Look at the size of it, the fence. You know the rich, you can't see over the fences. I can, oh, he looks like a rich man. Bloody hell, look at the size of that! Run, wait, 40 road, we're doing 31. Let's go! On the road! road <laughs> take me home! To the, the place. place! I belong! 40 road! Wait, I thought we were saying 40 road! Take me home. 330 yards, straight across. 
Hey, Joe, I think he's looking at you funny. Burn him off, go! Let's get him! Get him every gear! Go, 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 go! <laughs> mate, this is the perfect day. To, he said this, it's the perfect day to do this, isn't it? Oh, mate. Absolute oh, perfect wow. day. Inside you, your sausage. Uh, Joe, it's come to my attention that we can't charge our phones in the vehicle. No, I think you can. And can't. Joe follow has this, got. Follow this cable. I think that disconnects the music. All right, no. so, no. Oh, wait, wait. No. What's it connected no. to? Is that the sat nav? Where is it? Yes! yes! Right, let's get rid of that because you've got 3%. Wait, yeah. where is it? 3% battery left. Okay. All right, we're stuck in traffic and luckily that was the bottle opener that fell off, so we're okay. Oh. I'm, still, I'm still survived. <laughs> the charger actually, in fact, works. Winner, winner. Wait, turn the brightness down a bit. Let's hide this as well. Yeah, winner, Let's winner, chicken this. dinner. Mate, we almost got dropped outside the smart Turkish barbers. Good, How do you good morning to you all. No! Really? We, we thought we'd just kind of got to the outskirts of London and we've got the bumper to bumper traffic. How do you s me? Mate, I, are you kidding me? Mate, your car's that small, just squeeze it in the middle. Yeah, You'll yeah. be fine. Well, this is not good for the old folks back yeah. in. Hi Joe, how's the how's the journey going so far? <laughs> how's it how's it going so far? I just want to be there. We still got another two hours, 24 minutes to go. <laughs> and that's not including this traffic jam. Not at all. And how are we doing on fuel? Uh, oh, I didn't. I, didn't, I, didn't. I know you didn't, because you've not mentioned it about. once. No, nah, we got a half tank. How far can that get us? Not too far. Hopefully we'll get to the end of this traffic jam and we'll be alright. <laughs> <laughs> alright, ladies and gentlemen, let's do this. Um, not exactly sure where we are now, but we're taking a right onto Bagshot Road. Let's go. Oh, I take it back. I've worked out where we are. We're in Rich Preeple County. Look at that. Something meadows. God damn. These houses are old school and they are big. Oh yeah. Kind of place you retire to one day. Do you know, I don't know if I'd want to. It is where you it is where you should do, but it's like half of these just look haunted. Oh, no. hey! oh, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't. It's too new. <laughs> so we've been on the road now for, for about like, two and a half hours, probably. Um, my fuel gauge, I don't want to worry you Tom, my fuel gauge has gone down by about this much. And how, how, much is that, how much is that much in that much terms? Uh, it, it should be a lot lower. It's not really it's not moving. Really, trying to tell me your fuel gauge doesn't work. I, I, I'm not saying that, I'm saying it, You're implying it though. It's slightly delayed. If I, Wait, if, if, I, if I flick it enough times, <laughs> it goes up. It might know, I think it might like recorrect itself. <laughs> <laughs> but if we break out, we might know why. If we break down, we might know but, why. But if we break down, where are we right now? Uh, I'm <laughs> the <fuck laughs> Take me home to the place I belong. I think we've been doing pretty so pretty well on the trip so far. We finally got our What's we, next though? Oh yes. I playlisted it. Shout out to my boy Jeff, shout out to my boy Angelo. This is a song called Dolphin Love that we used to listen to on repeat. Watch watching like, dolphin subsection. No, oh. that's definitely not what we did. Oh shout out to the Jaguar in front though. No. <laughs> Come on, can we go? It's yeah. too damn fast! <laughs> going for the third time anyway, Jeff. Fine. We're still going 30. <laughs> 20, 26 and a half. But no, this is, this is a song called Dolphin Love that I listened to when I travelled from the top of New Zealand to the bottom with Jeff and Angelo, and it was spectacular. And I played this song for Joe, and then Joe loved it. And then, like, weeks later after I showed Joe it, he was just chilling. Oh, there's been a crash! Where? Wait, there's been a cracking crash. Oh, no, he's dinked the front of his wing mirror. Uh, oh, his wing mirror as well. Uh, but then Joe now likes the song as well, so it's like, it's a travel song, it's a full send song. Mate, and that guy on the bike is just full sending it through traffic. Go on, Lid! Come on, who's the best DJ? Who's the best DJ? <laughs> 
roundabout. Shut up, Dick! Mate, I'm throwing the bunkers on right now. Take the second exit on Greenway West. Straight on. If you don't, that's so. Mate, this is an old bit. This is like this is like school disco kind of music for me and Joe. Amazing. This is. I hope I'm doing a good job as a DJ. I'm trying. Mate, we're getting close. Hour and 19 minutes to go. <laughs> Rolling up with the most ghetto music to get some petrol. Yo. Give us what we need and we will leave immediately. No, Joe, Joe, I, no, if no. I don't go out, if Tom, I don't go, I don't get out this Tom, car. Tom, now is a fun bit. What is? I can't remember if it's petrol uh, or diesel. No, I don't wanna know. Joe, let I me just concentrate remember. on pissing. I'm about, remember. Joe, I'm gonna wet myself. I'm not even kidding you. Yeah, I'll piss on the door. Oh my God. There is a God. There is a God and the door was wide open waiting for me. Oh! Who on earth? Shopping at this petrol station. You can buy full blown cakes and a chocolate roulette. I have no idea what that is. Sorry, there's someone right there. Oh, crap. I'm just going to get my pot of peaches. I'm not going to get my pot of peaches, I broke it. Wait, pot. wait, why, why is there a mini stone henge here? It's I'm so it's confused. It's what? Why? What the? Wait, is this real or fake? It's real. Or is it like, is it a homage to Stonehenge? Huh? Is it, a, is it like a homage no, to Stonehenge? Or is it a full Stonehenge, I think. No! Oh. Is there a full Stonehenge? Dude, that pub has got our name written all over it. Look at it. It's literally the red lion. My logo's a lion. Hey, on <laughs> I nearly went head first over the wall. Why? I don't understand. There's just, wait, they're everywhere. Right. There's literally rocks as I'm stood up on this wall. Rocks scattered all around this place. Look, there's one there as well. I simply don't get it. I wonder if this is where the aliens originally landed. No, 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 no. No, you did not. You did not just get this far. No, you did. Is it charged? Just Let me see. Let me see. Two slots and a fine. Wait, no, let I me see. I think it's charged. No, it's got one bar on no, it. No, it's good. Good to go. Yeah, for one bar. No. For one bar. <laughs> what a <laughs> I've just had an absolute mail. We've driven all this way. We've <laughs> <laughs> driven all this way. Basically, I've had like 3% batteries the entire time. Oh, you have? Literally, yeah. Really? Tom's had no batteries the entire time. I'm like, oh, we've got a road trip. <laughs> Do you Wait, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, look, we've got the world's longest cables from our phones. <laughs> but um, we've made it to the middle of nowhere and we're going exploring a camera controlled area. And if you want to know what we're looking for, it's aliens. <laughs> I don't even know if we can go this way, I'm just assuming so. Okay, we are, <laughs> we are approaching, we are approaching the... <laughs> how, far, how far away can we walk from each other? This is our setup right now, look at this, keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Mate, I can get even further away from you, watch. We could not look. We could look more out of place. Is that skipping rope? <laughs> we could look more out of place here if we try. And we've got our bags because we didn't trust. We did tourist mode. We didn't trust uh, the, the safest neighbourhood in the world to not steal our bags, so we took it with us. It's a livelihood, bro. And Dude, look at this. Explain the history. So, this is like a sacred stone site called Avery. The Avery Stones. They've been these stones have been here since. What is that? Is that the moon? <laughs> Not a moon. It's a big tree. All oh, right. But these have been around since like Stonehenge time, even before Stonehenge time, I think. And you'll find people over there like to sit in stones and and, and like um, do little. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like little. They become one with the stone. So you got stone rituals, yeah. That's my kind of size stone. Yeah. That stone's showing off. But yeah, there's loads of them scattered around. Yeah. It's like a full circle, and it goes all the way here, oh, this, yeah, all the way round, and then it goes all the way behind the big, yeah. all the behind, behind yeah, the pub. Can't work out. It's in a perfect circle, and they can't work out why. And this stone. Yeah, look. Stone, how the hell would they have got that there? This stone is not found around here either. Stones found from like, like hundreds of miles away. They have moved it. But like, how would you get that there? That is so embedded into the ground, and it's so big. Yeah. What on earth? Scary thing is, walking a dog. This is so strange. 
Hello? <laughs> if this house didn't look cool and old and creepy enough, the window's open, haunted.com. Yeah. Have you seen what's in that window there? <laughs> no, Have like you seen that? Little Turkish dolls. Mate, like nobody just... lives in that house. The dolls <laughs> haunt the house itself. Wait, you seem like that? Well, do you, yeah, I do that as yeah, well. Oh, right, okay. That's like dramatic effect. Effect. I appreciate that you appreciate the culture of it, but trust me, I've seen enough films to know that this is either where we die because of ghosts or haunted animals or, or crazy villagers. the greater good. <laughs> this is mad. Dude, the adventures we go on are sick. Weird, even, if, even if we're in the middle of bum nowhere in England, I love it. It's your new favourite phrase. <laughs> bum This, <laughs> as I'm tethered to Joe. <laughs> Come on. We can't go too far Whoa. from each other. Look at that mushroom tree. Wow, it's a tree <laughs> that looks like a mushroom. Joe did that roof. I All of it. Oh, just a few repairs. A few wasp repairs. Wasp hey, wasp don't don't talk yourself None down. Did. It can dance. It can do fetch roofs. But it can also get rid of a wasp nest. Yeah. You're my kind of friend. I know. I'll get in the skip. <laughs> <laughs> this is so. Yeah, this is no, just oh, this. This, this just screams haunted village. I'm not one. sure how I feel no, about this. Saint Andrew's Cottage. Nah. Oh, down there. Bro, everything about this streams. We're about to get murdered. This is where you meet your end. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> but just for the record of everyone out there, I'm not I'm not actually scared of anything. Oh, yeah. Alright? But I just it's just like in a movie, you know, when they split up. Yeah. Why? Just I like why go through the creepy door that just opened? Just go through the front door, go back home, put your feet up and chill. Sorry? It's quarter past nine. Wait, is it? Yeah. It's gonna get dark soon. It is actually quarter past nine. Oh, oh no, everything about this screams horror it's movie. Dark. Come on. What is that orange thing over there? Is it a person with a hood on? No, it's a chair. <laughs> on the road again. Thank God we found this charging pack. Yeah, let's go. Wait, a two two. The hardest thing now, the hardest thing what? is getting into reverse. We've got uh -oh. push down here, then right. I think that's it. If not, we're going straight to the wall. You've nailed it. No, <laughs> do, you to, do you want to stay out of gear and I'll just okay. push it backwards? No. There you go. We're in now. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. there we go. All right. Sure Mini right. Stonehenge. It was a pleasure. Can you believe it's like half past nine at night? Yeah. <laughs> like. Uh, there's the wait, there it is. I can film it finally. The moon. Yeah, this are, what is going on with you? Why do you exist, you Bill? What are you doing? <laughs> they, they can't explain in this area what on earth that mound is, what it's for, and who put it there. Also, I feel like we should apologise to Scottish people in general for like uh, we keep, we can't help but we keep whenever we're yeah. around each other we keep going when, to Scottish accents. Whenever we're together, honestly, the moment I walked into Joe's we place, talk more Scottish accent than normal accent. Yeah. Like, as it, in, like, do uh, not mean to be rude, we really don't. It's just force of habit. But yeah, it is what it is. So, come on, morning to it. There's a bit of Irish, whatever. Welcome to the haunted road. Why is it haunted? It looks really creepy. <laughs> it does look really creepy, and apparently, if we, we break down here, we're in trouble. If we break down here, we're screwed, and if we see another car, we're also equally screwed. Also, we hit a pothole, we're screwed. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> we hit the tree, we're screwed. Look at this. Haunted is it, road. Does it class as a shortcut, or? Or is it just a scenic route? It's a little shortcut, a little rat run. <laughs> a little rat run. I also thatched a couple of houses down here. It's Ooh, one of mine. Really? It's not one of mine, no. Aww. There's a, little, there's a little thatched church down here. A bunny oh, rabbit! Yeah. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> no! Oh! What is that? <laughs> no, I only need to see a badger and it's like playing animal bingo. Dude! Whoa! <laughs> Bro, that rabbit was going for it, wasn't it? That bird like jumped out, stopped, <laughs> and went again. Couldn't make his mind up. <laughs> oh! No, you're okay. Oh, oh no. quick. No, 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 no! no. Wait there! Stay there! No. No, no, stay! Go. Quick warning with the inside lights! Okay. <laughs> F*** off! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Jesus. Uh, there's a church. Oh, whoa, thatch house! Or church, even. Thank you! Oh, 
Go, go on, get the key, get the key, get the key. Yeah, yeah. my goodie, man. <laughs> this is where Joe used to work. Look at all these rooms he used to work on. And then this dickhead did not invest in a fresh roof. Another pub, this guy did. Yeah. And that one. He did that one? I've done all of them. Oh, a pub? I think so. Oh, wow, that's lovely. Yeah, George Inn. Oh, that's well nice. Hey, as my dad would say, Doggers. Joe, oh. will you do me a favour? <laughs> and just look at that view. Wow. Where, 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 are, we at? where are we in the world? We are now on Bowden Hill, which is where I used to live. Oh. Tom, everything the light touches will one day be yours. Wait. Everything the light touches <laughs> will one day be yours. Wow. Wow, where that's actually are? gorgeous. This is Joe's old My village. Is just down there, that. Oh, right, we had 52 people in the entire store. Really? Yep. Whoa, what is that? Yeah. Wow, this is as old school as it can get. Bloody hell, mate. That's my school. That was your school? That's my, that's my school. What? That's my old school. And there was only 52 people who went there? Yeah. What? That's my old school. 52 pupils. That's where I used to go to school. Look where he is now, he's a strictly dancer! <laughs> wow. Richard. You know that person? Yeah. What? I think so. We've seen hello to your friend. Well, well. And there's a pub. Richard. Let's go get a beer in the pub. We can't because we're uh, we, we're on a we're on a mission. I think it is Richard. But we've gotta go we've still gotta go get to Joe's house. I'll give him a little tip. Alright. Half past half past ten at night and we've just got here. <laughs> Flip in heck, that's, right. That's what you get for having a Volkswagen camper van. That's Dude, I'm not it. knocking it. I, I tell nice. you something, that was the best five and a half hour <laughs> road journey I've ever had. It was so fun. Did it feel like it was five and a half hours oh, to you? No, it felt like, it, to be fair, if I could still drive, I could still carry on driving. Yeah, that was really, really good fun. How long is it going to take us to carry on driving tomorrow? To get to Glastonbury. Yeah. Um, not long. Don't, don't say not long, because this was not, not supposed to be a long journey. And it was five not and a half long, hours. Not long, Tom, not long. Ah, just, uh, just a four hour drive. Two days later. I love how, like, me and Joe's dad are having a beer and a glass of wine. But then we said, like, Joe, do you want a beer? He was like, no. It was like, do you want a Budweiser from the garage? No. And then he went, oh, is that gluten-free beer in the fridge? <laughs> yeah, it is. There's your gluten-free beer, Joe. But well, actually, it's hey. your... No, actually, Bad's wait right. a minute, it's your gluten-free beer. Whoa, I didn't want it, all right? You I wanted the full you. stuff. You at, least, at, least, at least I didn't buy the non-alcoholic stuff, lads. You bought it. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for having us, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely love that. I've just completely changed what is happening right here, and it is amazing. Joe and his dad sat down playing Fight Night. <laughs> Wait, Joe, are you just absolutely slapping him or? You know, you are supposed to be teaching him the rules. <laughs> you're good, you're good, you're good. You're still in it. You're still in it. You're still in it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Butter bean is dead. Oh wait, is that the slow mo replay? Oh! It really is for an Xbox 360. This is like watching a YouTube tutorial of like how to play games with your kids. <laughs> Come on, Greg! Get it together! Is there like a health bar anywhere? Oh, come on. Come on, Greg. Come on, Greg. Use your other... <laughs> oh, nice! The double left hook there. Go on, Greg. Go on, Greg! Nine seconds left of the round. Go on, Greg, get in there. Push into him. Oh, go on, Greg. Oh. Wow. Mate, two, oh, yeah. two o'clock wow. in the morning right now, wow. and we're playing Tomb Raider. Yeah, and this is, the, this is the, play, play the game, because the first ever mission on this game, I never got past it, where there's, if it's the, li it's the tiger pit, you have to climb yeah, up the wall, yeah. I never got past it. I never knew what was after it. I always oh, just have to look at the box art. Oh, is it? It's really all the tigers. It's right. like wolves, dinosaurs. Oh, wait. Yeah, we'll resume game. Uh, level. What level should we do? I don't know. Oh, the first one. Go on. This is the first game me and Joe ever got through together, right through to the end. No way. And I, I, used, I used to come home early from work. Yeah. To get through a stage. Yeah. 
then rewind it so he didn't know. Yeah. And then I was just say, look at me, Joe. I got through the. Yeah, through it. Yeah. Rewind it, and he didn't know. Nice. Wait. The music in this game's brilliant. The wolves just run out and eat him. <laughs> Mate, she looks like a pixel. Two a.m. Uh, I wanted to go to bed. <laughs> We're here playing the original. Well, it's not the original Tomb Raider. Um, it's like the remastered version of Tomb Raider on Xbox 360. Mate, these graphics are terrible, but so iconic. Oh, he's dead. Ripperoni pepperoni. Mate, I am absolutely exhausted. It's three o'clock in the morning. We've had a bunch of beers. Me, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the record, your dad's name is not Greg, but I've called him Greg that many times that I forgot what his real name is, and I just keep calling him Greg. From now on, Greg. Greg. What's he? He's bringing us glasses of water, and I said both for him. <laughs> Call me Greg, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I think his name is Greg. Oh, Mythos. Oh, I love that beer. Thank you. But, yeah, Mythos. Cheers, Greg. Appreciate it. It's You're been welcome. a pleasure drinking with you, man. Welcome. Oh, my name is Timothy now, is it? What a dad thing to do to get a big glass of water. I love it. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. He wasn't dancing <laughs> at his own show. We're charming. Woo! I guess you're like charming, too. <laughs> Has it been a good adventure? Yeah. Dude, the people at the event tomorrow are going to be like, why are you guys so exhausted? And we're going to be like, <laughs> did we tell them we were up playing Xbox at 3 o'clock in the morning? What do you mean the event? <laughs> you mean the festival? Oh, well, yeah. Good night, boys. Good night. Good night. Dad, Sug. Let's call him Doug. <laughs> <laughs> Dad Sug Doug. <laughs> I'm gonna call him Doug instead. Greg Doug. Grog. Good night, Doug. Oh, Grog. God. <laughs> what did I call him again? De what was I calling him? Derek. No, what was his Greg. first name? Greg. <laughs> Greg Doug. <laughs> Joe, thanks for having me over, man. Thanks for letting me stay. I appreciate it. Do <laughs> you know the Muffin Man? Hello, <laughs> Hamor. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, what an awesome night we had. I'm going to have to make this outro really short and really quick, but we're back adventuring in the Chipster. It was absolutely amazing. It's been great. We're on the way to Glastonbury in tomorrow's vlogs, guys. So thanks for tuning in. I'm going to love you. I'm leaving you. If you're looking forward to the adventure you're about to see over the next few days, because I have to work out how to get back from Glastonbury and get to Poland, which when you're in Glastonbury, you might think, oh, it's totally easy. It's not. It's an absolute, just, it's insanity. So, guys, make sure you leave a like, right? click that subscribe button, ding dong the notification bell, so you get notified when I post my next video. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 6 p.m. for the next day of vlogs. So until then, much love. Adios.